So, do you have anything to report on the whereabouts of the soul? That I do. My spies have informed me the soul is traveling to the city of stars. But fear not, we will catch them this time. We just need more time. More time, you say? Well, I had no idea that the time I gave you wasn't enough. Pathetic. I was expecting something much better from the Chantry. What do you think, priest? Should I give you fools more time just to fail me again? We won't fail you this time. I promise you that. Tell me, priest. Do you remember what we agreed on? Because I do. You promised me the head of the man who stole my power and the soul of the fallen. I even gave you the ability to raise the dead to take control of this world. And still, that man lives. And I don't have the soul either. So, tell me, priest, what are you going to do? I will do anything for you. We just... we need more time. Anything, you say? Well, there is one thing I need. Name it and it will be yours. Well, what I need is to inhabit, and I think your body will do nicely, priest. What? Open wide, priest, and embrace me. Ah, now oh, that's, that's a better. lot better. You, Inquisitor, what did you say your name was again? My name is Arthur Blake, Inquisitor for the Inquisition and loyal servant to the John Tree. Oh, is that right? That's right. Well, Inquisitor, for your failure to obtain the soul of the fallen and failing to eliminate the mage, you need to be punished. Now, wait a minute. There's no need to kill me. I can still be of use to you. You are correct, Inquisitor. But not the way you are hoping. Please, I'm begging you. Not that. Anything else, please. <laughs> I'll do anything. <laughs> please. <laughs> Are you all right, sweet angel? Oh, I see. Well, that's quite all right. I'm not surprised that you had a nightmare. You have been through quite an ordeal. But I must ask you to loosen your grip around my waist, please. <laughs> there is no need to apologize, sweet angel. I do not mind you holding on to my waist. I find it quite adorable, in all honesty. Well, we are now on the road to the City of Stars. There we shall be meeting with the Queen. She will be hosting a meeting with the other lords to decide if they should go to war against Grimlock and his undead army or if they should find a much more peaceful way to resolve all of this madness. I fear that it won't be an option at all, Leo. Knowing Grimlock, they will do everything they can to dominate and control this world if we don't do something soon about it. That's why you'll have to be the one to convince them otherwise. Oh, don't remind me. It's gonna be a real pain trying to convince them to do something, though. <laughs> Don't worry yourself, Rahab. I'm sure they'll listen to you. You just need a little faith that things will be alright. I bloody hope so, Han. It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. What's so special about the City of Stars? Well, <laughs> where do I start? Hmm. The city's history isn't too complicated, but I will tell you that... The city was actually built by the most brilliant minds of all of Ferelden, 
who wanted to study the stars to get a better understanding of them. So what they did was they built a massive telescope to examine them. Of course, they were incredible inventors. So what they did to keep the city safe was they started to build their own mechanical army to circle around their kingdom. <laughs> you know, Robert, from the way you speak about them, it almost sounds like you've been there yourself. <laughs> That's the funny thing, Ash. I have been to the city before, a long time ago. I was assigned to protect the princess at the time. I wonder how she's doing now. I hope that they're safe at least. Looks like you're gonna find out, Robert. Greetings, travelers, and welcome to the City of Stars. And this is Queen Elena, ruler of the City of Stars. Greetings to all you brave travelers. It brings so much joy to see you all here safe and well. Elena? Is that really you? <laughs> That's Queen Elena to you, mage. Robert, are you alright? <laughs> I'm alright, Alex, don't worry. <laughs> I see you've gotten stronger than the last time I saw you, James. Welcome back, Robert. It has been some time since you were here last. Uh, <laughs> that it has, James. And look at you now, a royal knight. Call me impressed. I could say the same thing about you, Robert. I have heard you became an outlaw to the Chantry and a savior to the people of Storm's End. Oh, you heard about that then? Of course, Robert. Word has traveled far and wide about the fall of the cap. Uh, I'm sorry, Robert, but what is going on here? This knight just punched you in the face. You're laughing and acting like everything is perfectly fine? Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Alex, this is James. I met him around the same time when I was assigned here, but back then he was just a simple squire, and the queen here was just the princess, or I used to call her Shortstack. By the goddess Robert, that was years ago. When will you stop with those ridiculous nicknames you insist on using? I'm not that little girl anymore. Oh aye, I can see that you have changed quite a bit, but you will always be my little Shortstack. <laughs> you haven't changed at all, Robert. Though I'm not too sure about the beard. It makes you look like an old man. <laughs> Do you really think so? <laughs> I think he makes me look much more mature and a bit more handsome, maybe. <laughs> if you say so, Robert. But jokes aside, I'm pretty sure everyone here would appreciate a chance to rest from your long journey. I will have someone prepare your rooms, and please feel free to use our royal bathhouse to relax your aching bones. Thank you so much, Elena. <clears throat> I mean, Queen Elena. <laughs> it's quite alright, Robert. Though before you do anything, Robert, there are two people who wish to speak to you. Oh, I see. <laughs> Very well. Lead on. I cannot wait to see what has changed since the last time I was here. Well, I'll be damned, you have been busy, Elena. And is that the railway system you were talking to me about before? What did you call it again? Oh, that. Yes, it's called the Travel Rotational Automated Enclosed Nomadic Service. Or, more commonly known to the people here as the train, or trains, if you wish to be specific. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but what does a nomadic mean? Well, Sophie, if I remember correctly, pneumatic is a liquidized crystal that oriented around the inside of the machine to help it to move and such. My question is, how did you manage to find the power source that would correlate with the crystals? Oh, then why not just say that? Well, it did take us a while, but we did find that with enough electrical force, the pneumatic crystals would activate and power any machinery we desired. Well, thank you. You must be one of Robert's companions, if I'm correct. The pleasure is all mine. If you would like, I could tell you so much more than how we found a way to build our flying ships. Well, take a look, lads. 
It's the undead slayer of Storm's End. You finally made it, my old friend. Varys? What in the goddess name are you doing here? And why shouldn't I be here, Robert? Most of the dwarf lords have come here to the meeting. And I'm not the only one here either. Oh? Hello again, everyone. I'm so happy to see you're all here safe. Sister Camilla, what are you doing here? I am here for the same reason, Ashley. To attend the meeting that will decide the fate of our world. And to oversee the security around the City of Stars. And welcome any and all survivors to the city. It seems like you'll be having your hands full for a while then, Camilla. I take it that the people from the capital are here as well? That they are, Robert. But not only people. Also Templars, and some members of the Inquisition who no longer serve Grimlock. Really? I wonder why that's come about. I may have the answer to that question, Robert, but that is for later. I'm sure you all need to rest. Ooh, that we do. I can't wait to see what these royal baths are like. I couldn't agree more, Sophie. I am in desperate need for a good long soak. Ah, I can't wait any longer. Let's get going, friend. <laughs> of course I am, my friend. I just got one thing to do, and then I'll be joining you all. Splendid. If you all would please follow me, I will show you the way to the baths, and I will also have someone to collect your clothing and replace them with freshly clean clothes. You do understand you need to tell them the truth at some point, Robert. I know, Leo. I just... I don't know how to explain everything to them yet. Well, you ought to find a way. Because the longer you keep this from them, the more it's going to hurt. You're absolutely right, Leo. I'll tell them tonight, but for now, can we just let them enjoy this for now? Goddess. Oh, the water feels amazing. Oh, this is just what I needed after traveling for so damn long. I couldn't agree more, Ash. I don't know if I ever want to get out. I've heard rumors about these baths, but I never thought I would get the chance to experience it myself. Indeed. I just hope Robert hurries up and joins us already. Anyway, what do you think about this, friend? <laughs> I have to be honest, I'm not surprised you feel like that, friend. I'm not surprised either, Alex. <laughs> the baths here are infused with sweet aromas of lavender to help de-stress and relax the body. Ah, Robert, you're finally here. Please join us. The water feels great. In any other case, I would, Alex, but not right now, at least. Why? Has something happened, Robert? No, not exactly. I need to tell you all something, but not here. Meet me at the courtyard when you're finished. Uh, okay, Rob. Sure thing. <sighs> what am I going to do? Robert? What's going on with you? Whatever it is, Rob. We're here for you. But you need to tell us what it is. So we can help you. That's the thing. Will you all want to after I tell you what it is? <sighs> that is an incredibly sweet of you to say, friend. Thank you. But this is about you, so you may need to sit down for this. Do you remember the night we first met? Where you were kidnapped by a bunch of demons that wanted to sacrifice you? Well, for a while I found it strange that they wanted to sacrifice you at all. Then, not long after I saved you, the Inquisition was showing up. And then there's Grimlock somehow managing to learn the ways of necromancy and wanting your soul for something as well. 
Alex, do you remember the day when we went to help that village with the forest fire? Of course I do, Rob. The forest fire caused by a small meteor. Uh, why did you ask? That's what the people in the village thought as well. And so did I for a while, but now putting all these pieces together makes things seem a little more clearer. Somehow that doesn't surprise me that you don't understand. But maybe if I show you this will maybe help. Do you remember this feather at all? Well, you should, because it's your feather, my friend. I know this is going to be hard for you to hear, but I believe that you are a fallen angel. <laughs>